In today's video, we're going to look at some eBay hacks that are going to ensure you are making almost guaranteed profit every time you buy a sports card. But first, here's the intro. So just under a year ago, I published a video where I was talking about just misspelling a player's name on eBay and how that's gonna make you 40-ish percent more profit. Little did I know that was gonna be like my best video ever. It has almost 10,000 views now. 9,200, we're on the climb. It has a lot of comments as well, which I recently read through, did not know there was that many comments on them, and most of them were just asking for more examples. So full disclosure, I'm kind of sickly today, and I was just going to get on eBay and search this morning. It's a lazy Saturday morning, but I figured I would record the entire process. So if you want to learn, so that if you want to follow along and learn, I will narrate what I'm doing and try to uncover some of my personal eBay hacks, so to speak. I use hack loosely, no foul play going on here. It's just being smarter than the search algorithm. I'm also going to put on my screen glasses because I have definitely had some eye fatigue going on lately, and these certainly help with that. So the first thing we're going to do is go to eBay. The video I made a year ago is basically just explaining the process of how to list a player's last name. So for example, we will look at 2017 Patrick Minus Mahomes. By putting the minus sign, it's going to remove everything that spells his last name correctly. And then it's going to pull up some other Patrick. So there's Patrick Kane and there's Patrick Peterson. So I'm also going to add minus Kane and minus Peterson just so they don't populate all the results. And then, in theory, you should be left with a lot of Patrick Mahomes cards. See, see how this one spells his name wrong? M-O-H-O-M-E-S. The problem is that over the last year in particular, eBay's got a lot smarter, and I think it's using AI to like look at the images and auto-populate the names. So it's getting significantly harder to do what I explained to you in that original video. Now, basically, if you want any chance of finding something, you need to do what's a hard search. So put everything in quotation marks. So I specifically want to say, I'll sell, spell his name Mahomes. There's an extra L in there. I'll spell it like that, search that, and then now we're going to find some stuff. For example, this card right here, this is nuts. It's a number to 49, select rookie patch autograph. It's such a good looking card. I've looked at this one before. I've seen this one on here and I've comped it. It looks like they sell for right out what he's asking for 10 to 15,000 if you could negotiate it down a little bit it might be a decent buy but it definitely is pulling some Patrick Mahomes cards with his name spelled like I just said with an extra L in it and then you just got to be willing to check it's like this guy I think this might be the same guy because he spelled every single one of them incorrectly so this one's five thousand dollars I really don't know just off the top of my head what that's worth so I'm just gonna search them. I'm gonna go down to the left side of the screen where my little head's in a circle and I'm going to click on sold items. Okay, you can still see that. So it looks like this one's worth about $2,800. He's asking 5,000 for it. A Little bit steep, but you get what I'm saying. For the sake of exploration, I'm gonna see what the pink one's worth. About 2,000, this guy is asking 3,100 for it. So still overpriced. Before we get any further, I do wanna ask a quick favor of you guys. We put in a lot of time and effort into making this free sports card content, but if you could return the favor and hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and then ring the channel notification bell so you never miss one of our videos, that's gonna allow us to keep making this free content for you guys, and we really, really appreciate all of you. Thanks so much. I'm excited, it's NFL season, so I'm going going to go to the MVP so just to get some inspiration who do I want to search for whose name could potentially be misspelled Patrick Mahomes obviously number one Josh Allen is very hard to misspell Joe Burrow is a good one we're going to do 2020 Joe again in quotation marks we're going to say borrow like the word borrow so we have right off the bat a PSA 10 die cut I think this card's worth about $75 it might be about 80 as a PSA 10 well one sold for 67 sold for a hundred so I don't know it's not worth a whole lot more than it's selling right now but just looking through here's one here's a this is kind of an interesting one it's numbered to 35 it's a PSA 9 if it's a PSA 10 I'd probably be pretty darn interested but it's a number to 35 white concourse rookie of Joe Burrow let's try CJ this is one I don't do a whole lot uh, how do you misspell let's do Stout let's not include the R oh look at that dang so this one is an optic orange numbered to 249. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. He showed pictures of all the corners. I like that. 
So number 249 Orange Optic CJ Stroud. We'll see what this one sells for. So again, just typing in CJ Stroud Orange Optic 249. Uh, don't see any immediately being pulled. So we're gonna go to sold items. I think the card's worth quite a bit. I would not have thought it would be worth this much, over 500. So it looks like they've sold for $730 to about $550. So in theory, if I can buy this one for 400 and have a guaranteed $100 profit just by spelling it correctly, that will be a pretty profitable thing. It does look like there's quite a bit of stuff with his name spelled wrong, so this might be one that I need to just start adding to my repertoire. Here's a wild card rookie number to 15 where they spelled his name wrong. Not entirely sure what that's worth. I'll add it to the watch list. We'll find out. I'm not going to make you watch me comp all these cards. Sure, that would do wonders for channel retention. This was a very nice card. Number to five, uh, Crusade, Rookies and Stars Crusade. All right, so you get the feel for how that works. Let's do one more thing. Let's look at some lots. So the first thing I'm gonna do is type in just sports card, and I'm going to put that in quotation marks, and I'm going to filter it so that it's showing stuff that is ending soonest. So that's probably gonna throw it mainly into auctions. And then we're gonna look through some of this stuff, and a lot of it is just gonna be just the worst stuff. The people who list these are the people that inherited cards or found some or they're like a goodwill or something and they don't necessarily know so they just type in sports cards and they put it on eBay. Sometimes you can find gems in here that are worth a lot of money but most of the time you're not and a good way to easily tell typically is just looking at the action that a particular auction's getting. So like if you're into Walker Jenkins this is not a terrible lot. I know that people like him quite a bit so you get two of his first Bowman like paper rookies and a couple of the Bowman inserts for four dollars right now it ends in two hours so I could probably get that one the ones that say random sports card lots and have a few bids they make me you know you at least want to question it this is currently selling for like ten bucks so just like check them all out Ryan Anderson autograph there's honestly quite a bit of these though like I don't think any of them are going to be too exciting but it does look like there's quite a bit of stuff going on all right here's a CJ Stroud prism silver prism draft prism draft Strouds silver we'll see what these are worth Looks like it's worth about $25 to $27, so if I could get this one for 10 then it would be good. It's also, sometimes it's a tell when it's their very first listing. This guy has zero reviews, so check out his other items and just see if there's anything else that he has listed very poorly. No. And then, the other hack, you can just go back here and you can just add S. Or you can say sport card or sports cards and just mess with the plurality of them. When you get the discount is when it's an auction that literally just says something like sports cards or random sports cards. If it has the player's name listed, there's no point in even really looking at it because it's just, it's going to be pulling everybody, all the appropriate results. I hate these kind of listings. I was hoping he'd have some pictures of them. You never know what you're going to get, but... I'm just not messing with them. Some of these are exciting when it has a whole spread just laid out kind of randomly. These are, this is a terrible picture too. Oh, there's a dog. Holy cow. I love the ones where it's like, this is a clearly in a mobile object, but the picture turns out looking like most Sasquatch pictures. Like how are they this bad? Those are the ones where you can occasionally hit a home run. I don't think I found anything that's going to necessarily be just a big return, but if you just follow those kind of strategies and use those pretty consistently, just do that. See what you can find. You might unearth some hidden gems that people just listed very poorly. Hope it helps you make some eBay profit with your sports cards. I'll see you soon.